Hey everybody, it's Bob Boob the real estate guy. Okay, actually, hi, this is Bob Boob the real estate guy. Um, but I have the honor of doing a video tour today at 220 Elm Street. Uh, this is what they call Uptown Jersey Shore, uh, the tree streets, and you can't get any more tree street than this here. Now here I'm, I'm facing south, guys. So this is south on Elm Street. Here's north on Elm Street. Now this intersection, is walnut so we got two of the tree streets covered we got walnut here and we got elm street here of course this is looking east and this is looking west so it's a big big corner lot um i think it's a little over a half acre like 0.57 i think is what i saw i'll have to double check on that it'll be on the spec sheet but oh my gosh i just want to get started here and show you inside here but you'll see a big corner lot there's a garage area kind of over here and then there's a garage area over there and there's a super cool house that we're gonna walk into but uh we got a beautiful day here for it too of course this is a ranch style house it is elevated a couple steps so you got what four steps to do there coming up um but you have one level living and when we first come in the house you'll see there's a big foyer entranceway with coat closet and uh nicely decorated here now there's several rooms in this house that i'm going to kind of make up names for because there's so many rooms in this house, but I think this was originally planned as the living room, um, has the big picture window here in the front of it then, uh, looking out. So here I'm looking east, north, and there's south, but you can see it's, uh, oh gosh, guys, I'm going to say 6, 12, you're probably 15, 16 across by 13, 14 going that way. It's a nice front room here. Then you walk in and I think traditionally this would be the dining area. Um, they don't use it like that themselves, but really you could have a dining area here. And of course you can see big eating kitchen, but really large kitchen area. This is, this is probably 18, 20 feet across and probably about the same thing coming back this direction. But the appliances, they'll leave if you want them. They're, of course, dishwashers built in. Now here you have two closets, but this one I had to point out to you because if you come to a showing, I don't tell the owner I told you this. This is the snack pantry. Yes, the Milky Ways. And there's other good snacks in here too, but the Milky Way is what brought my attention. But again, don't tell my owner. Okay, so here we got the Eden Kitchen. Um, from the sink here, there's a beautiful view in the backyard. We'll show you that here in a second. Again, nice bonus room here with the dining room. Now this will take us down to the basement. You know what? Actually, let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll just we'll go down to the basement then. All right, hold on. We'll push pause. Okay, so now I'm down here in the basement. You see what I mean? Because now we have another like a family room here. The, this is kind of the primary area that they will use. Easy for me to say. Oh, back in here because you have a 200 amp service with this house, and of course there's the public water meter there. 200 amp service there with that. So. Here you can see, let's see. So here I'm kind of facing the front of the house. So it's kind of looking east, north. And then here's the back of the house. Guys, this room here, I don't even know what to call. This is like a whole extra bonus room here. It could be a workout area. Of course, they have the piano, so I guess we'll call it the piano room. But this is a nice extra room in your two, four, six, eight, ten. You're about 10 foot there by a good 16. Has a very nice exterior entrance too. So I guess depending on your family dynamic and how you'd like to have it set up, you know, here you could actually come in from here and you wouldn't even have to disturb anybody. Got a little drain hole there coming in. I guess this was some of the kids' projects. Looks like that was Taylor the daughter, but geez, jumping, that's what happens to you if you're bad around here. They just gut you. So here we have this bonus room. Of course, here we got the family room. And we continue down the hall. I think the idea was at some point is somebody was going to have a like extra living space down here. So let me back up here a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, that's just storage underneath the steps. Now this door would take you into a bathroom area that never got finished, but all the see the rough-in plumbing there for the toilet. Of course, here you got exposed plumbing and electrical. But I think the idea would have been here, there would have been a little half bath, three quarter bath down here. And then as you I back up, boop, 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 boop. Then this will bring you into kind of the utility area. 
course, where they have the washer and dryer and utility sink. Now, see these baskets here randomly sitting there? They're there for a reason, because see that rectangle there? That's a laundry chute from in the upstairs uh, coming down. But it's very clean, orderly, lots of extra storage here. Uh, here's some drying racks. Of course, here you have the boiler. This uh, looks like it's got several zones to it. It's probably an upstairs, downstairs, and the third zone is probably for the hot water heater. Double check on that. But um, but but nice nice furnace, nice heating system. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? So again, we have that family room, that room, bathroom, utility room here. Now here would be what I'll call like a fourth bedroom. Um, here they just have it basic painted walls and stuff, put the drop seal in, but it's really nice and it's and it's good size. You're probably a good 14, 15 this way. Well, it's about one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you're actually about 11, 12 across. So this is a nice extra area. Could be possibly an office area, another workout area. Again, guys, I told you at the beginning of the video, I'm kind of making up names as I go here because there's many more rooms than I have names for. Now, this door I didn't show you yet. This is pretty cool. It is a huge walk-in closet area. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah, it's uh, got the light in it, lots of racks, storage area. So, lots of storage in this house between closets and garages, that's for sure. Okay, and then this I'll just show you. Okay, so that's underneath the steps. Just to show you there's no trolls living in there. Okay, I think that was the downstairs. All right, I'm going to push pause and we'll go back upstairs. Be right back. Okay, all right, I'm back upstairs here. What I'm going to show you here real quick is this is the back of the house. So here's your southern view. So east, ding, 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 going west. So really beautiful spot here if you want to add a pool if you're a pool person. But here you have a deck. And then you're going to see there's multiple garages or storage areas. Now, again, so here's Walnut Street here. So now I'm looking north. Beautiful tree here. I'm going to kind of walk you around here. Actually, I don't know if you can see it, but over, see where that, there's a tree right there. And there's a telephone pole to the right. So just to the right of that telephone pole, there's a stake there. Assuming that that's a survey pin, you can kind of see the mow mark. Ding, 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 ding. Here, bring my finger down properly here. And that'll run you to the back of the property of the west side but this is a oh and actually this is a solar powered dryer clothesline for those of you who don't know what a solar powered dryer is but it's a beautiful yard space nice neighborhood seems like most of the actually all the owners have pride in ownership so here you have parking area three car garage here double door and a single door i'll show you inside here though again if you're into garages for storage or workshops this probably will be pretty neat to you. Concrete floor. This one's just a manual door. This one here has the garage door, power door on it. Workbench area here, you know, places to hang things. I don't know if that furnace is staying or not. I'll have to double check with the owner, but it looks like that's an old oil furnace. Uh, of course, needs hooked up to venting there, the chimney. But nice garage, huh? We're very conveniently located here to the Thomas Street exit. You're right near with the Wise's Grocery Store. And, of course, depending if you're heading west and going towards Lock Haven State College, easy drive, or heading east towards Williamsport, or maybe even going down Lewisburg, Danville, hitting 80. But 220 corridor is right there. Sometimes they call it the 99 corridor, but 220 there. Isn't this really nice? Now... This garage, I'm going to take you in, but I'm going to take you in from the inside to this because this is a, an attached garage. Of course, they call that a detached garage. Okay, guys. Um, yeah. So let me push pause and then we'll go inside the garage here and look. All right. Be right back. Okay. So we're back inside here. See where we just came in from the back door. So I want to kind of get you oriented here. Sorry, I've been kind of bouncing around here looking. But here's, of course, the front door. And as we come in, there's the remember that little living room area there. Big open plan here with the kitchen. And then we have the hallway. Here's where we went down in the basement. So here we have a bedroom area. Now, if you're an Eagles fan or a Cowboys fan, you are definitely not going to like this. But if you are a Steeler fan, you are going to love this bedroom. 
or maybe we can convert you to a Steeler fan then. But nice size bedroom, uh, probably 1011 by 1011, kind of a, kind of almost a square. Then we have the bathroom area. That's kind of neat what they did with the design of this bathroom. They allowed it to be a big bath, double sink. Of course, you have the shower unit here. That's a one-piecer, so you don't have any of the grout you got to put in there. Of course, here's the throne right here. But then that leads over to the master bedroom. So you can sneak in here from the master bedroom. And then remember that laundry sheet we were talking about earlier? There it is. You just throw your laundry down there, and it's right near the washer-dryer. Now, I suppose, depending on how many people are in your um, family and stuff, then you could move washer-dryer up to one of these bedrooms here as well. So here, then, you have another, what am I going to call, kid or guest bedroom. So this is bedroom number, well, we saw the one downstairs, the one with the super cool Steelers room. And then here we have the purple, purple people eat a room. So this is another bedroom. This is about the size of the other one. This is probably 1011 by 1011. There's a big closet here, double closet. And then let me take you over here. This is what they use for the master bedroom. Not a super huge master bedroom, but it's nice. It has the uh, the closet here. And of course, they use that walk-in closet downstairs for their personal needs too then. But serves the purpose. Got a big bed in here, lots of furniture. And then as we come here, voila, we're back to the bathroom. There's that super cool, awesome laundry chute again. Now, show you this here. Here we're in the hallway. But remember that garage that I said I was going to take you to? So look at this here once. So here's the kitchen coming in, heading towards here. So I guess the original builder, his plan was one of two things. Look at this. This is ginormous. And yes, ginormous is a professional real estate term then. But I think the plans were here to make this eventually into a master bedroom suite. That's why that master bedroom wasn't made super large because the intention, intention was here to eventually do that or not and just leave it as a big garage. So here's that door. Show you where we were at. See right there in the yard. So here's that area where I was coming in at. Coming around the front. Oh, there's Bobby Booby's super cool red Jeep there. Got my little manly trailer on there, hauling a couple things around. So I guess this area becomes a little flexible, versatile, um, just depending on how you want to use it. You can just use it as storage if you want to. But you could also maybe convert it into some additional uh, living space then. But it's it's high. These guys, I'm six foot. That's got to be nine foot from where I'm standing to the top of the wall. And then it kind of has a high ceiling. Not kind of, has a high ceiling area. Pretty cool, huh? Well, guys, I think that's the pretty much the tour of 220 Elm Street. Do you have any questions on financing or maybe you got a house to sell in order to buy or if you have questions in this home, please don't hesitate to give me a call. My cell phone is 570-220-0741. Company number is 398-0690. I work with Century 21 First Choice Realty. But we'd be honored to be your realtor and answer any of your real estate questions. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.